Today I'm going to show you how to make a small parts organizer turntable. You can store small parts such as screws or supplies for crafts and sewing such as buttons in it and turn what you need to face you. To start we are going to create a cylinder. We want our cylinder to have a top and bottom radius of 70. We want it to have a height of 30. And we'll go ahead and press create. Next we're going to select vertex here. We're going to move this vertex in the center up. So we'll click on it and then press M. And we're going to move it up to 55 on the Y axis. Next we need to create our compartments. So we'll start again by creating another cylinder. This time we'll make the radius slightly smaller. We'll only put it with an arc of 57 so it won't be a whole cylinder. And we want the height to be 57. We'll move it off of here for now. Next, let's make a cube. We want it to have a height of 57 also. And we'll move it over here. And press M to move. Next we'll press R to rotate. We'll move it slightly until and move the cube slightly. Good. We will select these two shapes. It's T and S to stitch and scoop. And we'll do difference and take the rectangle out. Now we've got the, the opening here for our compartments. So we'll move it back over to here. And we'll press the R button to rotate it just a little bit. Then we're going to press C plus O to pull up the copy offset. We're going to pivot them. We're going to make four copies. This will automatically make the copies around the side there. Then we'll select them. We'll press the M button. We want to move them up three. Next we're going to make another cylinder. This cylinder is going to have a radius of 10.45. We'll still have a height of 57. It's going to have an arc of 360. It's going to be a full cylinder. And we'll go ahead and create it. Next, we'll select all these things here. And we're going to do 
stitch and scoop again with T plus S and we'll do another difference we'll select the compartment holes we just made and the cylinder we made in the center and we'll click apply that looks good so we'll press save changes and that is our top there next we're going to make the bottom After saving here, we'll name this Turntable Top. And then we'll hide it. And we're going to make another cylinder. This cylinder is going to be the bottom. So we'll also have a radius of 70. We're going to give it a height of and we'll go ahead and create it. Next we need to create yet another cylinder. This one is going to have a radius of 10. And its height will be, for now we'll set it at 55. And we'll go ahead and create that. We'll go ahead and unhide the turntable top now. And let's scale our We want it to just meet this one, so let's see how high this is. 51.27, so we actually want this to be 51.27 also. Maybe 51.27. It should meet right up. We'll go ahead and hide the top again. Next we need to generate the screw and the nut for the top. So we're going to go ahead and go to screw generator. We want the screw to have a radius of 10, a pitch of 3, have 36 segments, a rotation of 5, have a tip scale of 2, 16 tip segments, and a thread scale of 10. And we're going to go ahead and generate the nut also. We'll move the nut off for now. Then We'll just click on the screw part. Then we'll press U plus A to pull up the Align menu. We want to reference the object we just created. We're going to put it in the center and on the top. So we're going to put it right on top of the cylinder we just created. Zoom in just to make sure everything's right on top of it. Then we'll click on all these things. We'll press T and S to do a stitch and scoop again. And we're going to do a union. And we'll apply. And our bottom is finished. And Now we need to work on now is the nut. And what I'm going to do with the nut here is I'm going to make a cap for it. That way we can print it on top of the cap. And it will print to support free. 
So let's pick the shape generator again. We'll make it a radius of 10, although it's actually going to be larger because the nut is larger than the screw. Um, we'll also give it six edges. It only needs a height of five. So now that we've made it, we'll press U plus A. We'll align it at the top of the screw. Next, we'll zoom in. Press R to rotate, and we'll just rotate a little bit on the y-axis until it looks like it's about at the same rotation as the other one. Then we're going to scale it up to match the other one. Needs to be scaled up a little more. The width of that one is 32, so we want our width on this one to be 32 also. We'll put the proportion. And then we'll press both of them and we'll do stitch and scoop again to make another union. And then we're done. Now we have the turntable top, the turntable bottom, and the turntable screw. And we'll just go ahead and make the top visible again. And we'll move it up where it will be, which is right on top of that one. And then plus U plus A. Line this on the turntable top. And that's how it will go together. Of course, you'll print all of these parts separately. But that's how it will look when it's done. Thanks for watching.